This week, students in D.C. and Loudoun counties head back to school. And on Monday, the area's biggest school system, Fairfax County, starts classes. Right, so Maryland students aren't headed back until Labor Day. But the push is on to make sure parents are getting their children vaccinated before school starts. Yeah, WSA 9's Stephanie Gelhar is live in Bowie this morning, where today's immunization clinics already starting to fill up pretty fast. Stephanie, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, 150 kids are going to get vaccinated here today. Also, 7,500 students are going to get free backpacks. So a lot going on here this morning. I want to get right over now uh, to Barbara. Thanks for joining me. Oh, thank you. We're so happy that you all are here with us. But more importantly, we're happy that we will be able to service over 10,000 students. We reached our goal. Our goal was 10,000 backpacks. We actually exceeded it and actually have 11,000 backpacks. And talk to me about what's inside the backpack. So we have elementary as well as uh, secondary, which is middle and high school. So elementary backpacks will have crayons, we'll have a um, composition book, we'll have pencils, and we will actually have glue sticks. So these are all essential things that they would need to start the school year off. And in the secondary, we'll have notebook paper, highlighters, and ink pens first day of school, they have everything they need to have a successful school year. Okay, great. Let's get right over now to Karen and let's talk a little bit about the vaccinations that are going to be happening here today. Okay, we've had 150 students that have registered for vaccines today and it's a requirement to enter school. So we're wanting children to be ready, healthy, and we know that the vaccine is one of our public health tools that prevents the spread of communicable disease. That is important as children start school. So we're really excited that we have the opportunity to provide these vaccines for them today. And I understand the biggest need is for seventh graders? Yes, actually our kindergartners new to school will have to have their varicella in two doses and our seventh graders will have to have a DTP and then also a meningococcal which is meningitis to protect them. Thank you so much for your time this morning. And uh, Larry and Allison, I want to leave you now with a live look at these backpacks. You can see them piled high here. The kids are going to be so excited when they receive these later today. Back to you guys. Oh, how exciting. I remember my first day of school. It was always good times. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, midway through the year where things took a downturn. <laughs> All right. <laughs>